Hello everyone, welcome to another Blu-ray unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing the Incredibles 2 Best Buy Steelbook. Uh, I will be giving away the digital copy that comes with this if you'd like to win it. Just be a subscriber to this channel and leave a comment below saying what your favorite part of the movie was. If you haven't seen the movie yet, you could just say you haven't seen the movie yet. And I'll pick somebody at random two weeks from today, uh, so that would be November 20th, I think. Yeah, November 20th. Um, and make sure you include your Instagram username so I can send you a message on Instagram with the code. If you don't have an Instagram account, that's okay. Just include whatever you prefer. But for me, I would much, much prefer if you had an Instagram account. It's easier for me to just, you know, send a picture of the code and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, Incredibles 2. Um, if you guys saw my video yesterday for Wreck-It Ralph, which by the way, I'm doing a giveaway for this one also. So just go to that video if you're interested in wanting the digital copy for that. Um... I ordered this months ago, um, pre-ordered it months ago, and uh, there was a delay in the shipping, so I don't know what happened. I even got an email last night that said, yeah, your uh, item has been actually delayed, like legitimately, and we don't know when it's going to arrive. So I took my chances and went to the store today, um, and they actually had a few of these left, because, you know, I work on Tuesdays. So that's why I always order stuff online, because, you know, if I take take chances every single time, they might not have a steelbook for a certain movie left. Because um, I remember back in the day, before I pre-ordered stuff online, I, I, I tried to get the Guardians of the Galaxy steelbook at Best Buy, like the day of it came out. And I got there like an hour after the store opened, um, because, you know, I didn't have a car or anything yet. Um, and they sold out. So, like, ever since then, I've always been like, okay, I'm going to, from now on, buy stuff online just so I can guarantee get it um, but I don't know what happened uh, mine got delayed um, same thing happened with uh, the first incredible steelbook which came out a couple months ago you can watch my video for that and you know talk about talk about that in greater detail so I don't know if it's like a curse with the Incredibles movies where the steelbooks get delayed for some reason because uh, so far I've never had that problem with any other movie um, it's just been both Incredibles for some reason um, both got delayed I don't know why um, all new mini movie, Auntie Edna. Um, I thought, uh, by the way, Aunt Edna from National Lampoon's Vacation. I thought that was supposed to be a reference to that um, when they when they called Aunt Edna or they called Edna Auntie Edna in the movie. Um, that short film that played before the movie, which was very uh, unique. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, here's some special features here on the Blu-ray. Then the 4K is just the movie, of course. But, uh, yeah, I'm very excited to revisit this movie. I watched it back in July. I saw it kind of late. Um, it came out in June, I believe. Um, so it took five months for this to come out for some reason. Normally movies take, like, three months, four months tops. But this one took five for some reason. Um, pretty simple design, too. It's pretty much just, like, a washing machine with, you know... I believe this was a teaser poster, I think, for the movie. Um, but, yeah, it's just Disney Pixar. It's actually kind of nice. I like it. It's like a... It's a glossy, but it's not like it's not like super glossy to where like your fingerprints are going to be on it. Like it's it's kind of unique. I don't know how to explain it. This is embossed. This uh, center piece right here. This is embossed, sort of right here. This one too. This one no, but I like how it looks. Um, it doesn't look anything like this one though. Sadly, I wish they would match up, but uh, the spines kind of match up somewhat with the titles. Um. This one didn't didn't say Ultra HD, but it is, you know, Ultra HD. Um, this one says it. But, yeah, they don't really match up that well. But I do like how it's kind of inverted colors, sort of. White and red, and then red and... Not white, but, like, silver. That's kind of cool, I guess. But, uh, yeah, they don't really match. Um, so, yeah, the back here. Pretty much laundry bin with uh, <laughs> more of their costumes in it. Um, so, yeah, let me open this up and not show the code. Let's see. Oh, for once I opened it up and the, the slip was uh, backwards, so that's good. Um, so we get some nice disc art here. I'll take each disc out. So here's the 4K film. Um, and I did enjoy the movie. Um, not as much as the first one, though. The first one's pretty much childhood, you know, classic. Um, so, like I said, I need to revisit it. But yeah, the first one I love. Grew up with it. Um, the second one was, it was a solid sequel. You got Frozone there. This is the bonus disc, it looks like. So I'll move this out the way. And uh, I'm covering the code here, but it looks like you get an uh, exclusive digital bonus offer. Um, something with Samuel L. Jackson, it looks like. 
So that's pretty cool. So you're probably going to get that as well if you win the digital copy. So let's take this disc out, and we got uh, the feature film. At first I was like, wait, more features? No, it's just feature. It's the regular Blu-ray for the uh, film there with really nice disc art. That's from the uh, poster, like the actual main poster. Um, and then the inside, we got some really cool artwork. Um, kind of goes with the artwork for this this first steelbook, sort of. Sort of, kind of, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we got Mr. Incredible, Last Girl, Dash, Violet, Jack-Jack, and then that raccoon. <laughs> so that's really nice. I actually really like the uh, interior for this. And the outside, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't like this, probably, um, but I like it. Um, and I keep forgetting to rate my steelbooks, by the way, in all my recent unboxings. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, I didn't do a rating for that. I don't think I did. Um, but this one, I think I'd give, like, 8.5 out of 10. Maybe an 8 out of 10. Eh, probably 8.5. I actually really like it. I like the feel of it. Like, I like the, the finish they did on it. I'm not sure what this is. It's like if Matt and Glossy had a baby. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to describe it. Um, but it's definitely like a glossy, more so than matte, but it's like both. I don't know if that makes any sense. But, uh, yeah, I really like this steelbook, um, and thankfully, when I went to Best Buy today, at 4.30 almost, um, they actually had, like, five of these left. I was very surprised, because in the main, uh, the main, uh, display they have for Incredibles 2, all the steelbooks were gone. I was like, oh, no. And then they had like a sort of smaller display, which had like Incredibles toys and stuff like that. And they also had some of the steelbooks there. And uh, that's where I found this. I was like, oh, okay, thank God. They had like five left. So <laughs> I got lucky. Um, but anyways, yeah, Incredibles 2, um, great movie. And uh, like I said, feel free to win the digital copy. Just follow the rules that I said earlier. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one. Bye-bye.